the clouds of financial strain have parted for Canadian seniors grappling with the economic tempest. In a move that resonates like a beacon of hope, the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, has taken decisive action, expediting the delivery of old age security, OAS, payments directly into the accounts of seniors nationwide. This much-needed intervention arrives as a lifeline for countless elders weathering the relentless storm of rising costs and dwindling resources. The $1,756 infusion, set to hit bank accounts within a mere 48 hours, promises to be a potent balm, soothing the aches of constrained budgets and restoring a semblance of financial buoyancy. The CRA's proactive measure underscores the urgency of the situation faced by Canada's senior population. With each passing day, the strain on fixed incomes grows more acute as essentials like housing, health care, and sustenance demand an ever greater share of limited funds. This direct deposit initiative is more than a transaction. It is an acknowledgement of the profound challenges confronting our elders and a tangible demonstration of society's commitment to their well-being. For those who have spent their lives building the foundation upon which our nation stands, the impending arrival of these funds represents a hard-won respite. Imagine the relief that will wash over countless households, where every penny has been meticulously rationed and the specter of precarity has loomed large. With this intervention, the CRA has acknowledged their plight and extended a hand of support, a gesture that will resonate profoundly within the senior community. Yet, this is more than a stopgap measure. It is a rallying cry for a broader reckoning with the challenges faced by our aging population. As the demographics shift and the silver tsunami gathers strength, it is incumbent upon us to reassess our systems and structures, ensuring that those who have contributed so much to our collective prosperity can age with dignity and financial security. In the days ahead, as these funds find their way into the accounts of deserving recipients, May it serve as a reminder of our shared responsibility to uplift and empower our elders. For in their stories, we find the threads that weave the tapestry of our nation. And in their resilience, we discover an inspiration to confront adversity with compassion and resolve. To fully grasp the significance of this measure, one must understand the mounting pressures faced by our senior citizens. For many, the golden years have been tarnished by the harsh realities of economic volatility and spiraling living costs. Pensions and savings that once promised comfort have been stretched thin, forcing difficult trade-offs between essentials like housing, health care, and nutrition. As inflation has taken an unrelenting toll, fixed incomes have struggled to keep pace, leaving seniors to make the agonizing choice between heating their homes or putting food on the table. The stark reality is that far too many of our elders have been forced to subsist below the poverty line, their dignity eroded by the constant specter of financial insecurity. The consequences of this economic strain extend far beyond the mere financial realm. Studies have consistently demonstrated the profound impact of poverty on physical and mental health outcomes for seniors. Chronic stress, inadequate nutrition, and delayed medical care all contribute to a higher incidence of chronic conditions, exacerbating the already formidable challenges of aging. Moreover, the emotional toll of financial hardship cannot be overstated. The gnawing anxiety and sense of diminished self-worth that accompany poverty can precipitate depression, social withdrawal, and a profound erosion of quality of life. It is a cruel irony that those who have dedicated their lives to building our communities now find themselves on the precipice of destitution, their twilight years overshadowed by the specter of want. Against this backdrop of struggle and hardship, the CRA's decisive action to expedite OAS payments directly into seniors' accounts takes on an even greater significance. For those teetering on the brink of despair, this influx of funds represents a lifeline, a chance to catch their breath and regain their footing in the face of relentless adversity. Imagine the palpable relief that will wash over households where every penny has been stretched to its limit. The simple act of opening a bank statement and seeing those vital funds deposited could be the difference between keeping the lights on or descending into darkness, 
between affording essential medication or going without. But this intervention is about more than just dollars and cents. It is a profound affirmation of our collective commitment to the well-being of our elders in a society that too often relegates its senior citizens to the margins. This tangible act of support sends a powerful message. We see you, we hear you, and we will not abandon you to the vagaries of economic hardship. While this expedited OAS payment offers immediate reprieve, it must also serve as a catalyst for broader systemic change. For too long, our seniors have been left to fend for themselves in an economic landscape that grows more inhospitable with each passing year. It is a stain upon our national conscience that those who built the foundations of our prosperity now find themselves struggling to make ends meet. We must seize this moment to reevaluate our approach to supporting our aging population, from strengthening pension systems to expanding affordable housing options, from bolstering healthcare access to fostering age-friendly communities. A comprehensive overhaul is long overdue. Only by addressing the root causes of senior poverty can we hope to forge a society that truly honors and uplifts its elders. As this wave of relief washes over our senior community, it must also serve as a rallying cry for all Canadians. We are bound by an intergenerational compact, a sacred trust, to ensure that those who came before us are able to age with dignity, security, and the knowledge that their contributions have not been forgotten. It falls upon each of us to lend our voices to this cause, to advocate tirelessly for policies and programs that prioritize the well-being of our elders, whether through political engagement, volunteering, or simply amplifying the narratives of those in need. We all have a role to play in creating a more just and compassionate society. For those with the means, consider supporting organizations that work tirelessly to alleviate senior poverty and isolation. Donate time, resources, or amplify their efforts through your networks. Every act, no matter how small, can ripple outward, contributing to a groundswell of positive change. To our younger generations, embrace the opportunity to learn from the lived experiences of our elders. Seek out their wisdom, their stories, and forge intergenerational bonds that transcend the artificial boundaries of age. In their resilience and perseverance, you may find inspiration to confront the challenges of your own times with equal fortitude. And to our seniors, know that you are seen, heard, and valued. Your contributions have woven the very fabric of our nation, and your continued presence enriches us all. Though the road has been arduous, this wave of relief is but the first crest of a rising tide, a harbinger of a future where your dignity and security are never again compromised. In the days and weeks ahead, as these vital funds flow into the accounts of those in need, may it serve as a potent reminder of our shared humanity and the unbreakable bonds that unite us across generations. May it awaken within each of us a renewed sense of purpose and a commitment to creating a society where no elder is left to weather the storms of economic hardship alone. If this narrative of resilience and hope has resonated with you, I implore you to take action. Like and share this video, spreading awareness of the challenges faced by our senior community and the urgent need for continued support. Subscribe to this channel to stay informed and engaged as we continue to advocate for meaningful, lasting change. But more than that, I urge you to carry this message forward, to amplify it through your own networks and spheres of influence. Lend your voice to the chorus calling for a more just, compassionate, and age-friendly society. Together, we can turn this wave of relief into a rising tide of progress, one that lifts all of our elders and ensures that their golden years are truly golden. The path ahead will not be easy, but our collective resolve must be unwavering. For in a society that truly values its elders, there can be no higher priority than ensuring their security, their dignity, and their well-being. Let this moment be a catalyst for transformative change a step towards a future where no senior is left behind, and where the twilight years are embraced as a time of grace, fulfillment, and the hard-won rewards of a life well-lived.